previously on The Biggest Loser. Hannah, come on out! Oh my God. The Biggest Loser fan favorite alumni return to share their expertise. Come on! Come on. Dig deep. Doing good, man. Proud of you. Black team remained undefeated in challenges. That's it! You have won this challenge! And in weigh-ins. Yes! And despite Bonnie pulling a seven-pound loss, <laughs> Blue team fell below the yellow line, and Bonnie's vote my vote is for Mike. Sent Coach Mike packing. I'm sorry. Here I am. Same Find it within you. Third, keep moving, Woo! no time. Come on, let's go. Don't be at the bottom anymore. Reach for the top. Let's go. Come on, come on, stop. You got this. Beautiful. On your mark. Get set. Go. walk into the tennis court and I see this big board and I'm like, well, that's crazy, what is that thing? Maybe this is a way they're gonna bolt somebody off this year. Every one of you took a chance to be here. You left your family, your friends, your loved ones, and everything you hold dear in the hopes of changing your lives. I'm sure after one month on campus, you would love to see them again. Well, one of you is about to get your wish. <laughs> one of you is going home for the entire week. <laughs> that would be awesome. I would love to win one week home with my family. Oh, great. One of us is going home. I want to go home. That's something to get excited about. Luckily, you won't be alone. Your trainer is going with you. Oh. <laughs> one of my girls wins, I will get to go to Mississippi or Arkansas, which is pretty nerve-wracking for me as a trainer to think that one of my players is going to go home. But at the same time, I'm glad that if they do go home, I get to go with them. It also comes with a huge reward. Immunity. Immunity? How great is that? I get to go home, but I get to stay here another week. What a great challenge. I like this. <laughs> Your weight will still count. In fact, it'll count more than you know. Because at the end of the week, your weight will be the only weight that counts for your entire team. These guys hear immunity, and it's just like, you know, unicorns and rainbows. But whoever it is that's going home, they have got the weight of their team on their shoulders. This is not a fun prize. The fate of everyone here comes down to one simple thing. Luck. We're going to let the chips fall where they may. Or chip, in this case. Each of you has a card with your name and your hometown on it. I'm going to ask each of you to place it where you would like on the board. You're going to go in order of your total percentage of weight loss on campus so far. If the chip lands on your name, you win. There's no strategy involved. This is all luck. That's all it is, is luck. So someone's going to be going home with their trainer, and your percentage of weight loss is the only one that counts for your team. So that's huge. John, you have the highest percentage of weight loss to date, so you get to go first. Come on down. If I win this challenge and I go home, it's going to be difficult for me to manage my time with all my workouts, knowing that all the team is relying upon me at the weigh-in, and trying to find time to see my wife and kids. Sounds to me like the winner may end up kind of losing. So my only strategy walking up there is trying to figure out where this thing's going to land so I can put my name somewhere else. All right, John, after you is Antone. I don't like this because I want to be with all my teammates here on the ranch. Here on the ranch is where it all happens. I like to be on the ranch. So next up will be Joe. Come on up, Joe. <laughs> if one of us wins it, they're the only person that's going to count. And I think that's way too much pressure. I better not win this one, because this could be bad. Five of the top six are black team members. Sunny, you're up. Woo! I'm excited about it, and I'm hoping I'm going to win. I've watched game shows, so I kind of know the region where it might fall, and four is my lucky number, so I went with the fourth slot from the left. 
Get it, girl. There's a part of me that's like, I need immunity. I want immunity. I don't want to have to go through what I went through two weeks ago where I almost went home. So immunity was like huge on my mind, but at the same token, that pressure to lose enough weight for your entire team is lots to take on. Okay, do me, Antone. Woo! Vinny, you're next. Yeah. Yeah. God, I'd give anything to see my family just for a little bit. I hope this lands on me because I know that I would bust my butt if I went home. All right. <laughs> and of course, Bonnie. Wouldn't y'all die if this one gets it? Wouldn't you die? I would love to win this. Picky you would love Anna to stay for a week. <laughs> All right, the person whose name and hometown this chip lands on will have immunity. Your trainer will be going with you. And your weight is the only weight that counts for your team the entire week. Oh, no. Oh, no. I see it over on the right side, going down like towards where my name is, and I'm just like, oh, I can't look, I can't look. Oh, Sonny! Sonny just had so much joy and happiness. She was going home, and I was just thinking, girl, you have not thought this one out at all. Sunny is just thinking that she's going to win a vacation. There's no vacation to be won here. Congratulations, Sunny. You are headed home for the week. You are taking Bob Harper to Frisco, Texas, and we won't see you again until the weigh-in. So a couple things. The rest of the black team, Sunny's weight is the only weight that will count for the black team. And Sunny, you have immunity this week. Let's go, Bob. Come on, Bob. Let's go. Hey, Sonny. <laughs> Sorry. This is going to be work. No, this I is know. not going to be fun. Yeah, You're not no. going to have any <laughs> fun. I don't want you to think for one second no. that this is going to be some no, easy Bob. ride. No fun. This is not going to be fun. This is not going to be a vacation, no, Sonny. No, it's not a vacation, Bob. When Bob started to speak to Sonny, I was like, I'm so glad I didn't win. Because <laughs> I would have been celebrating, too. If I have anything to do with it, she's not going to see anybody. I'll tell you that right now. Bob Harper. If I have anything to do with it, she will not see anybody but me the whole time. You think I'm kidding? Bob just tore into me. And I'm going to prove to him that I'm going to work hard. Sonny, it looks like you and Bob need to have a little chat. I'll leave you to it. Good luck. Red team, blue team, business as usual. Head on out. I will see you guys soon. If you're thinking in any way this is your week to uh, relax and pull back, you would be dead wrong. Because Sonny has the lowest percentage of weight loss on our team, I think the red and blue teams are probably kind of licking their chops thinking this might be the chance for them to actually win a weigh-in. You need to feel like your heart is coming out of your throat. That's what I want. This week, it is about this girl. She has got your life in her hands. I'm stressed about this. I'll tell you right now, I am stressed. My fate rests on Sunny right now. You know, what if she doesn't eat what she's supposed to eat? What if she doesn't, you know, work out when Bob's not with her? You know, it's a scary thought. I'm not going to disappoint y'all, OK? I'm going to work my ass off. What? I'm ready. What are you thinking? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. T talk I just, to her. I just, You're you good. know, I'm You're good. good. We're good. What do you need from her? I need you to just bust your ass I'm and going to. do as you do. And... I'm going to, no doubt. John? I'm so happy for you. <clears throat> and just uh, do what he says, and everything will be fine. I'm so happy for you. This is awesome. Go, just go light it up. John starts spouting out about, I'm so happy for Sonny, and, and I'm immediately thinking, I don't think that's the case, because it's not like Sonny and John are, have this incredible emotional bond. She's going to get to see her people. <laughs> And she's, they're going to get to meet Bob. No, I know. And no, she's going to work hard. Do you want to know what I think hard. you're crying about? What? Do you want to know what I think you're upset about? What? I'll tell you right now what tell I me. think it is. What I think it is is she's got your destiny right now this week. Now, all of a sudden, 
you're having to relinquish control right now. Yeah. At this point, this week, she holds your biggest loser life in her hands and you don't like it and that's what you're upset about. That's valid. My fate is in your hands. I know. I won't let you down. <laughs> I won't let you down. That's what you're upset about. You don't have to say the right things all the time, John. This is not the house that you have to say the right things. This is where you get to say what you're feeling. And you have been busting your ass 79 pounds yeah. in four weeks. 79 pounds. Now all of a sudden, this girl's got your life in her hands. I didn't even realize, I was kind of like on autopilot, you know, when I was, when I was interacting with Sonny. And Bob woke me up. Bob called me on it. And he's helping me, step by step, come to grips with who I am and being okay with who I am. I'm all in. Good. And I'm giving it everything I have. And I'm not going to come in last ever again. I'm sick of it. Good. Pack up. Coming up on The Biggest Loser. We're in Texas now. With Sonny and Bob in Texas. Come on, Sonny. Push. Push. Black team struggles to stick together. How are the four of you guys getting along? While the red and blue teams look to put an end to the black team's winning streak. Push yourself! Are you a winner, sir? Let's go. Faster, good. Faster, ah. up and down, up and down. There you go. We need to push so much harder this week. We can't afford to lose another person. You know, we've already lost three people. We're gonna do whatever it takes, however many hours, however much of my yelling and screaming and pushing. Come on, do not stop. Keep going, Bonnie. And our hard work will definitely pay off. Good, Becky, good. Think of the two, think of the two last week. Come on, that's gotta motivate, that's gotta push you. Pisses me off. There you go, come on. There you go. Two, one, good. That was awesome. That was awesome. It was amazing. It was amazing. That's where we're gonna get it. That's how we have to do this. That's how we have to be this week. Working out without Bob, it's just not the same. It's really not. It just kind of feels like we're a table missing a leg. With Bob being gone and Sonny being gone, I have been basically having to do a lot of stuff on my own. I don't have that um, camaraderie like everybody else does, so I am just feeling a little left out. Having Sonny and Bob Moten on here definitely has a different feel to the black team this week. Um, Anto and I kind of go out and do our own thing, and uh, John kind of does his thing, and Jen does her thing, and you know, hopefully it's going to all work out come way in time. I'm tired of excuses. And I'm focused on winning. You're going to tell me I'm hurting. I can't. I can't take it. I can't hear you. Everybody, raise your climb to 14. Incline 14. Let's go. As a red team, as young guns, I think, I really think this week is ours. I think it's our time to finally win a win. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do something this week. It's going to be a start of something good. Drop the weights. Go, drop them. Go, go, go! That's it. This is where you go hard. This is where you see that finish line. Go for it. Big numbers. Hard work. Everything! Five, four, three, go, go, go! Time. Find a pace and keep moving. How committed are you? 100%. You're one of the big guys on the ranch. You know what I'm saying? Five pounds, eight pounds. That's not enough, dude. I haven't lost enough weight. You know, I haven't done what I what everybody expects me to do, you know. But I've been trying. I, I mean, I've been working hard. So I don't know why the numbers hadn't come off like they should. Why are you in so much pain? Yeah. Ever since I've been here, I've been losing. Losing weight, which is a good thing, but losing everything we do, it's not familiar territory to me. Oh. I want to win. See, that's the thing. You've been good in singing, performing, being the funny guy, maybe hiding behind that stuff. Now you had a challenge, and it's okay to have a challenge. 
Because with challenges comes bigger things, things that you're not accustomed to winning at. You can learn to win from this. Just like when you first picked up a guitar, you weren't good at it, right? It took time. Every and it day. took practice. Yes, sir. All I need from you is that type of commitment. Yeah? Yes, sir. I know how to deal with success, but now I'm starting to have to learn how to deal with failure. I took what I was good at and I put a magnifying glass on it. And then the stuff that I'm not good at, I'm like, ah, I won't do that. You know, and now I think it's, you know, at this point I have to, you know, I'm here to attack the stuff I haven't been good at, obviously, or I wouldn't look like this. They are 77, <gasps> C76. Yes. You gotta stay above 75 all the time. 75, 80. Oh. Come on. Okay. You okay? Uh-uh. 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 I just feel it cracking every time I'm coughing. Cracking is not pain. Crack no, it is. It is, it is pain. <laughs> See, hear it? It is pain. Okay. Oh, go. I mean, but it's, no, it's cracking. Pain. I mean, so can I just do it at my own like pace? Okay? No, no, I mean, because I'm not burning. If okay. it's hurting, then we need to do something else. I don't want to hurt it more. Okay. You know, my job is is to make sure that Bonnie is around for many, many years. That Bonnie has a great, healthy, productive life. It's not my job to be, you know, cuddling her. Do you think it is because you're getting close to your burn and you're starting to like shut oh. down a little bit? Oh, no way. Okay. Because I just don't want, I just want you to stay mentally no strong. Way. Listen, I'm being honest with you. I yeah. want to ask you, I want to see where your head is. Okay. Anna thinks it's in my head, but I don't think she understands me. I'm not really a violent person, you know, but my gosh, in that gym, I could get to really being angry. So I'm trying to learn to keep my mouth shut when she says something. I am here in Frisco, Texas, and I have not seen my family yet, and I am just giddy. I am so excited and a little nervous, and I just, I can't wait for that moment when I come through the door and see them. Sunny <laughs> <laughs> walked in the door, I was just amazed. She obviously had lost a lot of weight, and was uh you know emotional and just glad to see us all so it was just uh it was incredible are y'all gonna help me work out while yeah. i'm here because yeah. i need your help my weight is the only weight they're going to count for my entire team this week oh, <laughs> but i did bring a friend with me that i want y'all to meet oh no yeah. i brought oh, someone with me They scream like, I mean, you'd have thought it was Elvis. They never expected for him to be here. Texas is in the house. So does she look any different? Yeah. She's been working hard. She's been crying like a little baby. <laughs> Sonny's got a great support system. I mean, she's got these people that are dying for her to be healthy. This is Sonny's best case scenario because she has got cheerleaders living in her own house. You guys are uh, are her, like, her biggest fans, and what I'm trying to teach Sunny to do is just really fight for her new position in her life. Everyone knows that I did not want any of my black team members to win this challenge, but I gotta say, I honestly believe that this challenge is going to change Sunny's life forever. I want to know what it was like. I want to know like what your biggest struggles have been in this house before you came to The Biggest Loser. I just took the easy route. You know, they would go ride bikes or they would go play golf or play tennis or whatever and then I would just I would stay here. Before coming to the show, you know, I settled for less than my best. I ate more than I should, sat around more than I should and didn't go for what I wanted in life. I think it's interesting that you have gained this weight and you're the the two most important people in in your family haven't gained right uh, they're they're thin yeah. and, and fit when we first married i wasn't overweight and um i just reached a point where i just kind of um secluded myself and didn't go and do those things outdoors just because i Why? was embarrassed that people but, would say things or that you know i would look like a fool it's really frustrating because Sonny basically has been sitting on the sidelines for the past 15 years. I don't want to do that anymore. 
I want to get active and enjoy my life and be healthy so I can be, I can be proud of myself and so that I'm not embarrassed to go out and play tennis with my own husband who just begs me to. I see such greatness in you and I want you to just like step up. I want you to step up in your life right now. I don't want you sitting on the sidelines. You're not you're not that you're not that woman anymore. I'm going to challenge you and I'm going to make you uncomfortable and I'm going to make you angry because I expect the best out of you. I do want a different life. We all three of us want a different life for ourselves and I have denied them the life that they deserve as well as myself. I'm sorry that I've expected less of myself and that I've not been a part of all the things that both of you like to do and I won't ever do that again. I'm changing myself no, and no. I want to start living our lives together and just not hold back from anything and I'm never going to go back. <laughs> We're excited. I am too. <laughs> My thoughts on Bob, I tell you what, he's an incredible guy. I, uh, what a genuine person and, and, and man do I appreciate what he's, what he's doing for our family. I really do. Bob's in Texas. Bob's uh, learning how to two-step. Bob's sun. out buying him some cowboy boots and a big old hat. If he comes back wearing a hat, man, I... Just... <laughs> what do you think Sonny's doing right now? <laughs> Bob probably had her up at 5 a.m. I guarantee you they're not wasting time. Nah. What's John doing? I don't know what John's doing. I don't know what Jen's doing. Last time I saw them, they were just sitting up in the kitchen. They keep to themselves. Truth be told, the black team is three and two. And that's the thing. Jen just everywhere she goes, she causes conflict in that house. It's like she thrives in getting stuff started. Let's get our workout. You got the weight of the whole black team in every workout that you do from here on out. The black team has won every single weigh-in. Oh my god! And now it all relies on Sunny. Good. You got this. Three, two, one. Oh. Jump up. Good. Stay right there. Breathe. Breathe. Stay right there. I've never in my life run at a 10 on the treadmill. Jump right. Jump back on. Jump. I feel like I'm going to fall off at any second, and my legs are just like spaghetti. How long? 30 seconds. Shut everything else out, baby. Look at me. You and me. It's you and me. I don't have time to have fun. I gotta just really put the pedal down to the metal. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! And that's the biggest loser workout right there. Good, I want you on the ground. Grab it right there and start pushing that thing to me. This first workout here in Texas is the hardest workout that I've had so far. Sonny, let's go. You need to be on the ground anyway. That treadmill helped me. Let's go. Push, Sonny. Ah! Seven, eight. Looking good. Fast pace now. Dig. <gasps> I can't get you my breath. Push. <gasps> Fifteen seconds, baby. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Look at me. It's you and me. I came all the way to Texas for you. You won the prize. Remember, you were dancing around. I'm so excited. I get to go. And I looked at you, and I was all yelling at you, saying, "This is all going to be you and me, right?" Okay. You giving up now? We just started our workout. Get on here. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Fast. Come on, dig, Sonny, dig. Four, three, two, one. Turn it off. Mm -hmm. You don't look like you're laughing anymore, do you? The gym where we're working out, about a year and a half ago, I was in a workout class. And I look over, and there are kids, they were in their 20s, looking at me and talking to each other and laughing. You know, it's obviously me that they're laughing at. As I'm running the sprints, I'm running towards that hallway where it all happened, and it just made me sick. I was in an exercise class right down there, and some people came by, and they were laughing at me. 
And I'm just, I'm just emotional. I'm just thinking about how embarrassed I was. I didn't been back then. I was too embarrassed to even come home and tell Blake. It hurt and it was humiliating. And I just felt so weak. You know, I'm feeling just like I can't even run because that memory is so strong in my head. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know what? There are people around me right now watching me. And you kind of start to feel self-conscious about it. Look at me. <laughs> Look where you come. Look what you're doing now. Running all around this gym, jumping up and down like a crazy woman right now. That's what you remember. Because I met a whole room full of people at your house that weren't laughing at you. They were laughing with you. Yeah. They were supporting you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what they're doing. Yeah. That's what you think about. Yeah. That's what you think about. OK? Yeah. After speaking with Bob about it, I just want to show how strong I am and what I, all I can do. And um, I, I don't care who's watching. And I don't care what they think or what they say. I know that I'm here to change my life. Good. Come on. You think about how bad you want it, how bad you want it. You see yourself on the scale. See yourself 10 pounds standing behind you. I'm going to make sure that nobody is going to be laughing at Sonny. They're going to be in awe of Sonny. You have nothing to be embarrassed of. I've always settled for less than the best. And something just clicked. Something's changed. And I just thought, I'm not going to settle for less than the best. I want to be the best. We've awakened something. And now we know, poor thing. We know. Oh my gosh, Luke, there's the donut shop we used to stop by all the time on our way to school. Oh, yeah. Remember, we used to get those pigs in a blanket, some donut holes, chocolate milk. Before I came to The Biggest Loser, Luke and I would stop at the donut store three, four times a week on our way to school. And I know that that has to change. We can't continue that lifestyle. So we pass on by the donut shop and head on into Subway. Hi. What can I get for you? We're going to have a breakfast sandwich with black forest ham and egg whites. What do you want? Oh, same thing. Same thing? OK. We're going to have lots of veggies on this, too. All right. Lettuce, uh, spinach, yeah. um, I'll some lettuce, cucumbers. The veggies are just great for you. OK, that looks good, doesn't it? It does. That's it. That's it. Subway's my secret weapon because it has the proteins of the egg whites and the, you know, all those healthy vegetables. I've been such a bad example in the area of diet and exercise for my son that I'm ready for that to change. And, and it starts at Subway. Have you missed me? Yeah. I miss you so much. <laughs> mm, that's really good. It's so important for us to win this this challenge, for us to win a challenge, period, because we need it. We went five weeks without winning anything, and I'm not a good loser. Wow. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Right now across America, millions of people are facing the same problems that you all faced five weeks ago. They're overweight, and they're overwhelmed by the challenge they face because it's an intricate, complicated problem. Just like your challenge tonight. Here's how your challenge is gonna work. You each have two glasses. Your job is to fill the glasses in front of you. You race across the maze. Whatever liquid you have left when you get to the other side, you drop into the team cylinder. First team to fill their cylinder to the line wins. Blue team, because you have half the players that the other two teams have tonight. Your goal line is half the distance that theirs is. The prize for winning today's challenge is the opportunity to help someone you know get fit. Because every member of the winning team gets to send one person to the Biggest Loser Resort at Fitness Ridge. For two weeks, they will eat like you, train like you, and take a step toward changing their lives just like all of you are doing here. Awesome. Awesome. awesome.
That is so awesome. This was probably the coolest prize that I think we've had so far. My family's always been overweight. I had applied for the show once with my sister, Kelly. She's had gastric bypass surgery, um, you know, and she's always struggled with her weight, and I wanted so badly to be able to give that to her. Something to keep in mind, you are using orange soda tonight. And combined, these two glasses are the same size as a 20-ounce serving of soda. But a 20-ounce serving of soda has about 17 teaspoons of sugar in it. Wow. Would you sit and eat 17 teaspoons of sugar in a row? No, you wouldn't. But you'd sure knock down a 20-ounce soda, wouldn't you? Well, so would I. Not anymore. Sweetened drinks are the number one source of added sugar in the American diet. The average American drinks nearly 50 gallons of soda and sweetened drinks a year. Joe, how many sodas a day would you drink? Eight to 10 a day. <gasps> Eight hey, to 10? Hey, I am on The Biggest Loser, OK? <laughs> Eight to 10 cans of soda a day. Yes, ma'am. Wow. That's crazy. That, that's, a, that's a lot of soda. It makes you realize why we're all here and what's gotten us here. And it's, you know, hopefully America sees that and realizes that it's, you know, just, it's just craziness. Well, it's challenges like this that will probably make you never look at orange soda the same way again. Let's get started. All right, guys, on your mark, get set. Go! Go! Sorry. Can you get through that maze first? Ay, ay, ay. Going through the bungees is, is crazy because everything is just moving now. So it's not still at all. It's difficult. Ah. Dang it. Ah. All the openings seem like they're only this big, and I know I'm a lot bigger than that. So if we finally get through, now you've got to duck, you got to do all kinds of things. You got to high step it. And the high stepping part was cool because it reminded me of ropes and football. So I'm like, I can do this. Oh, Anton is the first one through. Both glasses almost all the way full. Anton realizing how many trips they're going to have to make to make this work. I pour in my, my orange soda, and it was. It was like it was like that much in the bottom, and I'm thinking this is gonna take a long time to get this thing filled. Red team right behind him with Jessica. Here comes Courtney. Ron and Vinny are through and headed back. Jennifer's heading back. John's first trip through the maze. He's got two filled glasses. That's about 20 ounces right there. It's anyone's game at this point. One. Two. Bonnie taking her time. Oh! You got it, Bonbon. Bon. Oh my gosh. I can't get through the freaking thing. The hardest part is getting the second foot in without losing my footage. Oh! Oh, this is funny. Hopefully, slow and steady will win the race today. What? Woo! Oh, don't drop it. Son of a bugger. Show-offs. Definitely a tight race between the red team and the black team. Looks like the red team's in the lead. For the first time, we're actually ahead of black. Ooh, we want to win this, and we're not going to let black take this from us this time. Come on, red. The red team and the black team about a third of the way there. But frankly, the blue team only has to fill up half their cylinder. They are not out of this. Not at all. Not at all. Whoa! 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 You okay, Bonnie? You okay, Bonnie? You okay, Bonnie? <sighs> she okay? Oh, gosh. Are you all right, Bonnie? Oh. You okay, Bonnie? You okay, Bonnie? <sighs> she okay? Oh, gosh. Are you all right, Bonnie? Uh oh. All of a sudden, I hear that Bonnie's fallen, and I, I look, and she is all the way down on her back. And it was like, everybody just froze. I'm just like panicking and I'm seeing, oh gosh, here comes the ambulance. Uh oh. Right. You okay, Vaughn? Yeah, I think I am. Oh gosh. Go, go, go. After I realized I was fine, I got my butt up as fast as I could. I'm up. I'm, I'm okay. Keep going. I'm very determined after I fell to get up and continue this challenge. I'm not gonna let Becky have to win the race alone. I'm gonna give everything I have to do my part. 
Bonnie fighting through the pain. She is not quitting. Still moving through that maze. Good for you, Bonnie. Gotta say, red team does seem to have a lead here. Can they hold on to it? Win their first team challenge. So close. The red team starts to pull ahead, and I can see them starting to run, and they're really starting to get some momentum. And it's becoming very, very frustrating to me because if I had anything to do with it, we'd win every challenge on this ranch the entire time. I don't want to let the red team come up for air, not for one minute. Half an hour into this, we are getting close, people. Becky added the blue teams again. She's making it close. She's making everyone work for it. I'm not stopping. We started this race. We're going to finish this race. Black team's catching up. We're neck and neck. Red team, black team. Red team, black team. Every time they put in one, they're up. Every time we put one in, we catch them. Red team, black team, just back and forth. We're giving it everything we got. Could this be the first challenge for the red team to win? Yeah. A couple more times. A couple more times. My entire team is focused and beyond ready to take this win from the black team and, and dominate. It has been a long time coming. Is the red team about to secure their first victory in a team challenge? We're close. We might have been here, and the black team was right there. So it was so close the whole time. Courtney, almost there. Come on, guys. Come on. We're almost there. That's it, red team. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Good job. Yeah. Good job. Right. Here we go, Eva. <laughs> <laughs> when we lost the challenge, I was a little disappointed because I think we just, we tried so hard. And it's not like we were completely way behind. We were really, really pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Good job. I think the black team's lack of success has really been very difficult for me tonight. This is an odd week for us, not having Bob around. Black team is just off. Well, congratulations, red team. The streak is officially broken. You have won your first team challenge. Now you've won an incredible reward, the opportunity to send someone you know, someone you love, to the Biggest Loser Resort at Fitness Ridge. Do you have anyone in mind? Uh, I'd give it to my sister, Monica. She uh, just had a baby uh, two weeks before I got here. And uh, I, she, she loves the Biggest Loser. I mean, she loves it. So to get this chance would be the biggest gift ever. I see you shaking your head. Courtney, who are you going to send? My sister tried out for me once, and <clears throat> she's an amazing mom and never makes time for herself. And she needs it so, so bad. I just, to be able to give this to her, I mean, she deserves it. And I just, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. It is a great reward. But as you all know, what really matters this week is what we see on the scale. Black team, how are you feeling? You guys motivated? What's your strategy for the four of you? We're just gonna keep working hard like we do every single week. Good for you. All right, well, I look forward to seeing all of you at the weigh-in. Winning this challenge right now pumps us up for the weigh-in. That's it, it's ours. I'll see you soon. How do you feel after that workout? I'm tired you have a little and I'm hungry. Legs? Sunny invites me to go to dinner with her family, and they bring me to this barbecue place. <laughs> There's nothing for me to eat here. This is, this is gonna be a challenge. Why don't they have salads? They have a um, three bean salad. Let me order. I'll order for everyone, oh, okay? All right, good. They'll have the extra lean brisket, Okay. the chicken, and then we'll get turkey breast. Turkey breast, okay. Can we order the ribs too? The I just, ribs? Yeah, yeah, I wanna check them out. Southern people like to get together and eat. That's the bottom line. My job is to make sure that Sunny makes the right decisions when she's coming to a restaurant like this. You can really make it to where you don't have to be so tempted. Oh, are you going to have some? <laughs> well, she's not going to have any. Let's move it away from, uh, from your wife. As a family, we've always spent our time around the dinner table. So basically, you know, Bob's telling us that um, if you have barbecue, it shouldn't be every night. And when you do, you know, pick the lean meats, pick the turkey breast. Well, this is kind of torture, It is, but... <laughs> Something tells me that this kind of restaurant's really not going to be in Sonny's future. It's all about balance. 
And that's the thing that I didn't have a grasp on before I went on the ranch. I mean, Sonny's going to be able to cook some really great stuff for these family functions and hopefully get you guys inspired to change some of the stuff that you're eating. Right. Yeah. So, are we ready? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go, but there's something else that I think you need to experience while you're here in Texas. Is it another food ready? place? I have a surprise for Bob, and he, he will not know what hit him. It's right up your alley. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Just like this restaurant? Exactly. <laughs> I don't want a surprise for my contestants. Come on. Sonny. Come on. Whoa! I want to ride a bull. Well, you can't come to Texas without riding a bull. Yeah, sure you can. No, There's you can't. There's other fun things that I can do. You're Bob Harper. You can ride a bull. I know that Bob said this trip to Texas was going to be no fun, but I have to see Bob do this. Here you go. Ah. Yeah, look You're good? Ready. Yeah. Like that? Oh, I mean, shoot. <laughs> Whoa. I cannot wait to get Sonny back into that gym because I'm going to take out all of my revenge there. Yes! I did it! Hey, Bob. Yeah? Welcome to Texas. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> all right. Want to be a contestant on The Biggest Loser? Log on to NBC.com for details. Earlier on The Biggest Loser... Sunny won the pop challenge, giving her immunity and sending her back home to Texas with her trainer, Bob, leaving the black team to fend for themselves. Meanwhile, Anna faces her biggest challenge yet. Come on, do not stop. Keep going, Bonnie. Uh -uh, uh -uh. And in the challenge, red team finally broke the black team's undefeated record. That's it, red team wins! Yeah. Congratulations! And now looks to win their first wave. As Sunny's weight is the only one that counts for black. Hi, John. How's it going? It's going good. Good morning, guys. Okay, I'm sitting here with Sunny. Do you want to tell him how good you've been doing? I've been doing really good. He's worked my butt off. Good job, Sonny. Yep, good job, Keep it Sonny. up, Sonny. Now, um, tell me what's going on there. The red team's been working like crazy in the gym. They uh, feel pretty confident they're going to be able to knock us off this week. The red team finally thinks they're going to get a victory. Why do they finally think that? They think Sonny's a pushover. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on with you four? How are the four of you guys getting along? Um, I, I feel kind of... Uh, a little like an outsider, but it's getting better, so we're okay. Jennifer, she comes with a lot of baggage. This girl has alienated herself in the house, which means she's got a huge target on her back. That makes absolutely no sense to me. You shouldn't be feeling like any kind of outsider. You should be feeling like a complete member of the black team. I don't want to hear about any kind of crack in this black team, especially when I can't be there. I don't know that I'm qualified to deal with Jennifer. Uh, I think Jennifer needs, like, a whole team of doctors. I think we need to call Dr. Phil, Dr. Laura, you know, Dr. Oz, and maybe even call Dr. Dre. And maybe we can deal with uh, Jennifer at that point. But let me tell you, we're all adults, and I'm not about to hold anybody's hand and say, please, come on. Nobody's ignored. You know where the gym is. Let's go to work. The black team needs to stay focused and strong. I need you guys making sure that you are really staying together as a unit. Okay, sir. I'm not kidding. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. We'll see you at the way in All right. Okay. Bye. I can hear this dude <laughs> laugh. I can hear Bill Vader. Oh, 
Dolvader. What okay. up, Dolvader? Okay. What up, Dolvader? Okay. Last chance workout. Got an exciting plan for everyone. We have some news to tell you. Tell me, what's going on? Oh, we have another challenge. So, who are we? We did! No! <laughs> <laughs> Five weeks in the making, but we're here. Well, I'm proud of you guys, man. Yeah. Thank you. We're That's excited. awesome. I feel like you guys need a good workout. <laughs> I'm pumped. I'm, I'm always pumped. I want to do those ad things. Cecil's going down this week. It, yeah. yeah. How, well, does everybody know who Cecil is? So that's met Cecil, right? Everyone's met Cecil. Hello, my name is Cecil. <laughs> I'm trying to get off Vinny because I'm killing him slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny making fun of his stomach, nicknaming him Cecil. He's making fun of his health and the disadvantage that he has with his weight. That's not a laughing matter. People with cancer don't name their tumors. This is the thing that's literally killing you. This is a life or death situation. OK, so how did Cecil death become Cecil? Well, Cecil becomes Cecil because slowly but surely, this thing kept coming out of its shell. <laughs> and so I had to Big give it a turtle beard. name. So it's like a turtle. And that's like my shell. So its name is Cecil. Ah. So. I think my team has been guilty of being a little too playful leading up to this point. Their health is a very serious matter, and they have to start taking this thing seriously. You know what I learned? You don't get a lot done when you talk. Let's go. For sure. Let's, go. let's, go let's start. Let's go. Hard work. Let's get it in. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Three, two, four. That's it. Vinny, keep moving. Yes, sir. It's the last chance. This is it. We don't get tomorrow. No. Nope. This is all you got. You gotta fight hard. Hands up! Let's get it in. I wonder if it works the opposite if I ask me to easy on me next week for that work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Fantastic. What the f is so funny? Why, why are we laughing over here? What, what are y'all laughing about? We haven't won a weigh in yet. I am sick and tired of the giggling, the laughing, the not taking things serious. I am pissed beyond pissed. What the hell is so funny? When are the jokes gonna end, man? Why you don't take it more serious? That's what, what I'm here that to about? do. That's what I'm here to do. What do you think I'm here for? Yeah. You think I'm here just playing around? Huh? I'm not. I'll give you my best every day. Wow. I'm seeing the angry Vinny. The jokes are leaving now. He's actually getting pissed off. He actually is fighting back. This is serious. I know it's serious. This is life I or death. I don't want to die. This is life or death. Is that serious? Been hiding behind laughing too long, making fun of ourselves for too long before anybody else makes fun of you. For too long. No more jokes. This is life or death. Okay? Okay. Let's go. I do try to make sad times happy. I do try to make mad times happy. But I think at this point, you know, I got to stop pushing those situations away with funny and with laughter and humor and everything. And I got to start ta tackling them head on. Because if I don't, you know, there won't be no time to make anybody laugh because I won't be around. So let me tell you something. I'm going to push you. I'm going to go as hard as I can. Every time. Okay. Come with me. Knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. Go! Push ah! yourself! Can you survive this pain? Yes, sir! Can you survive? Yes, sir! It? Are you gonna win? Yes, sir! Are you a winner? Yes, sir! Let's go! Show me that you can. <laughs> Get down. Get down. Let's go! This last chance workout is super important, specifically because, one, we've been to Elimination Room once. We don't want to go back. And two, we are putting 100% in at the gym, and, you know, it's finally time for it to pay off. I need to believe in you! Three, two, <laughs> woo! 30 seconds. This week, I have seen the red team step up their game because they think that the black team is going to fall. You got to go hard, y'all. It's the last chance to get it in. You got to go hard. But Sonny and Bob are in Texas right now and oh my god that poor girl <laughs> i don't know what she's possibly going through 
coming up on The Biggest Loser. Come on, Sonny, push! Push! Bob serves up a Texas-style last chance workout. He has me climbing up these stairs with this sack of feed like I'm a big, strong man. We're in Texas now. In hopes of single-handedly beating the blue and red teams on the scale. Last chance! It's our last chance workout, so we're gonna do it in the pool. I'm gonna do everything I can, and I'm gonna make sure that these two girls are here next week. I mean, there is just, that's the way it has to be. We have no other choice. Fast, high, knees. Come on. Good, good. On the surface of the water, it may not look like we're doing a whole lot, but underneath, man, we are, we are working so hard. It's as hard as a workout in the gym. Done. Ah, nice. That was a nice one, a long one. <sighs> Thank you. You're doing amazing. You're really doing amazing. Here you go. Let's go. Excellent intensity. Excellent intensity. Becky, love your determination. Love your determination. Anna shows favoritism. Um, sometimes I think she might say she's patient, but she's not patient with me. Come on, faster, faster, come on. Use your arms. Faster, faster. I find lately my mood is my mood changes instantly when I know she's coming. You gotta kick the legs. Come on, up. Oh! oh. Right here. Okay, I can't. My, my body can't go up that high. Up. Bonnie. Uh-huh. Are you trying to resist me? No, no, it's just yes, my, my you face are. is going in the water when you did that. So you just mm -hmm. swam two laps. It took you ten minutes and you're not out of breath. I just wanted to see. I'm that. out of breath. I don't, I don't think you are. You know, I have no hints on how to be a trainer, but I think I have suggestions on how to treat people. Okay. okay. Whatever. No, but what do you mean whatever, Bonnie? I want to talk I'm, to you. What do you mean whatever? I'm, I'm, I'm. So many horrible things happened to Bonnie that I think she got kind of used to being the strong one and getting through it and and it's become her crutch. I just really, really need to open up her eyes. Bonnie, you can do this. Mm -hmm. I just don't think that you, th you think or you realize that you can mm -hmm. do this. Mm -hmm. And you're becoming angry this whole week. Every time I push you just a little tiny harder, mm -hmm. you resist, you climb up, and you, you have that reaction like now. Yeah. You know, it's like, <gasps> get away from me. And I understand, and it's okay to get angry. You should be angry. I feel like you've held these feelings your whole life inside of you, going through all the tough that you went through, and you always put on a smile. You always try to be the good, the strong one. You're holding on, you know, to Katrina here, to the passing of your husband here, and it's okay to be, you know, this, I'm strong, I'm okay, you know. But you gotta start taking care of yourself. When you're happy, you celebrate, you scream, you laugh, you smile. So when you're sad or when you're angry, you should express those feelings too. So it was very important for me to communicate that to Bonnie and almost like give her permission to, to feel that's what needs to be done in order for her to get healthy. Start screaming, start being pissed and mad and it's okay. We'll figure it out, I'm not worried about us. Sometimes I think Anna tries to pull reasons for me not cooperating from my past and it's it's not about Katrina it's not about my past it's something between her and I it's it's really is something something that I need to work on with her This is gonna be the craziest last chance workout that Biggest Loser has ever seen. I know, I believe you. I'm from Tennessee and I grew up on a farm. So for this last chance workout, I am bringing my childhood to this workout. And let me tell you, my childhood was rough. <laughs> Push it. That's right, come on. Uh, oh, Bob, oh. Yeah, that's it. It was over 110 degrees out there on that farm. Come on, you grew up on a farm. You know how to do that. Uh, Come uh, on, push. And I had Sonny doing things unimaginable. We're in Texas now. 
You said to me at the beginning of the week that you were sick of being in last, right? And that you wanted to be in first. This is your chance that you get to be in first place. You know what the blue team and the red team's thinking? If they had to go up against any of the black team members, they would want to go up against the person with the lowest percentage, and that would be you. That's why you and I have a point to prove here in Frisco, Texas. Bob is uber competitive. He wants to just crush everyone. And so, as crazy as he is, I mean, I'm just this far below him because it just motivates me more. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're going to win it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See this horse feed? We got to take him up these stairs. Oh, Lord. Uh, we're going to. Yep, we're doing 10. We're doing 10. Do not cry. He has me climbing up these stairs with this sack of feed like I'm, you know, a big, strong man. Nine. Last one. Walking lunges. Burn these legs out. Last chance, come on. Good, take the stairs. I keep reminding him, it's really hot. It's really, really hot. I'm really, really hot. But he doesn't go easy on me at all. Last chance workout, let's go. Push, last chance. Push, last chance. We've reached the end of the week. I mean, it's the moment of truth. Sonny's gonna be number one, and if she doesn't, there was nothing more we could have done. Come on, Sonny, push! Push! Eight. Two more. None. Six. Good. I don't want to be on the bottom anymore. I want to be the best, and I want to strive for that. I want to have the life that I deserve. That was your last chance workout. You got this. You got this. It's been five weeks. Black teams won every single way in. But this week, we worked out so hard, and we only got one person on the black team to beat. I feel we got a great chance to win this whole thing. Since day one, this hasn't just been a battle of the ages. It's been an all-out war. Everyone has their own reasons for wanting to win tonight. But right now, the fate of everyone comes down to one player. Everyone welcome back, Bob and Sonny. Howdy, ma'am. <laughs> All of a sudden, Bob and Sonny come walking in, and Bob is decked out in his plaid shirt and cowboy hat. I mean, it's just, it was very, very good to see them both. So, Bob. <laughs> Went in Texas. <laughs> Anna, how was your week? I think our week was pretty good. You know, we were addressing a lot of emotional issues, I think, working through feelings inside. And, and so we were just really trying to stay focused on us. Bonnie, there was a ton of thoughts going on in your mind just now. Emotions, yeah. I had a lot of emotions with the way Anna and I get along or don't get along. I love Becky to death. She's 13 years younger than me. And she gets praised a whole lot. Sometimes maybe a 63-year-old woman needs to be praised a lot, too. I feel like Bonnie has a lot of anger in her. She's been so strong from all the stuff that has happened to her. I don't think she ever released it. I get very upset because there is something that Anna and I have to work out. She brings anger out in me that I've never had before, and I don't like that. We need to sit down and talk about it. But I still do think that when I'm pushing her to her limit, obviously that's when she's the most vulnerable and she starts opening up. And when she's exercising and being pushed out of her comfort zone, she lets the real emotion get out. I think Anna is exactly right. And I don't know the relationship between uh, the two, but I just know that we don't know how long we get with these people. And I'm not here to be their friend. I'm here to help change their life. That's what this Biggest Loser House is all about. That's right. Well said. Listen, Bonnie is really pissed, and I'm glad that she's angry, and I want her to be angry. She needs to face reality and let her anger come out and start taking care of herself. Blue team, you are down to just two players. It is do or die for you. Let's start the weigh-in. Everyone's fate rests on Sunny. Her time on the scale, her visit home, will determine the outcome of all three teams. We're going to start with the red team on the scale. Vinny, you're up first. All right, Big Vin. Let's go, baby. This week, I gave it everything that I had. 
Dole Vet pushed me to my limit and passed my limit every single workout that we had. I'm thinking this is going to be awesome. Vinny, your previous weight was 382 pounds. Your current weight is. There you go, Vin. No, that kind of taught me this week. You know, I, I've kind of always hid behind the jokes and the laughing and making it funny and it, you know, making it okay or giving myself the okay to be the big guy. And I am done with the jokes. I am done with being, you know, this is seesaw where it's okay to be, you know, as big as I was. And the fact that we're already down to in the 372s in just five weeks, I feel great about that. Great. Good job, Vinny. I pulled that 10 pounds and I, I'm feeling confident about it. I feel like it's gonna be enough to, you know, with everybody else's weight combined, that we won't be going home. Jessica, your previous weight was 219 pounds. Your current weight is. is not bad. So hopefully it keeps me and my team here for another week. Thanks, Jessica. Thank you. You lost six pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 16 pounds. Ramon, you're next. Come on, buddy. Oh, Vinny pulled a 10. Jess pulled a 6. I pulled an 11 last week. You know, I'm hoping for, for a double digit again. It's uh, a little scary right now. Your current weight is. I was so trying for 12. I push as hard as I possibly can in here, and I'll never quit. <laughs> Thank you. You lost seven pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 23 pounds. Red team, you have one person left to weigh in. In his home court. For once, I just want to see a 10. I just want to see a double digit number, or I want to see something I can be proud of. This is the best, you know, this is the best I felt this week. Courtney, your previous weight was 237 pounds. Your current weight is. There you go, Court. Good job, Courtney. Good job, Courtney. There you go. This is the best week that I have felt the entire time I've been here, so I'm proud of that. And I'm not going to say that I'm pissed off about six pounds. I just wish it was more. With my weight, I'm embarrassed by it, and uh, I'm ashamed of it. And so I'm just ready to get it off. <laughs> I want it to be off, and I don't want to be ashamed of me anymore. And I'm learning that from, from my team, from everyone in the house, that I don't need to be ashamed. Slowly but surely, you're starting to believe in this thing called the lifestyle change. And I'm proud of you for that, you know? You get on that scale, you, see, you don't see numbers that you want to see but I definitely see confidence that I want to see. And that's the key. Thanks, Corey. Good job, Corey. Knowing that I didn't pull the number that I wanted to pull, I'm frustrated, I'm angry, but at the same time, I knew that it's a great week for us. So fingers crossed that we hold strong. We're gonna weigh in the blue team next. Becky, Bonnie, in order to beat the red team and guarantee that you are both here for one more week, the two of you need to have lost more than 11 pounds. Bonnie, we are going to get you up here first. Here you go, Bon. Lock and drill. We have to beat the red team because I'm having no doubts that Sonny is going to pull a big number. All we have to do is get 11, and we can do this. Bonnie, your previous weight was 233 pounds. I'd love to get out to 30s. It's been a long, long time since I've been this low. Let's see what the scale says. Your current weight is. I'm out to third. This is good. This is good. Good for you, Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You lost four pounds this week, starting the blue team off with four pounds. Remember, blue team, you need to lose more than 11 pounds. Becky, it's time to get you on that scale. My bad. Hey, mind, Becky. Bonnie only pulls a four, and I'm thinking, that's what we needed. I believe Becky does good, but she can only maybe pull a six. That's what we're hoping for. I have to lose more than seven pounds. I just wonder if people can actually see my heart beating. 
because it just seems like it's beating just almost out of my chest. Becky, you need to have lost more than seven pounds in order to keep the blue team safe right now. Your current weight is. Becky, your previous weight was 212 pounds. You need to have lost more than seven pounds in order to keep the blue team safe right now. Your current weight is. I worked hard for those eight pounds. I deserve those eight pounds. And by the grace of God, I am worthy of those eight pounds. You worked really, really hard this week. You really found Becky. And you really accomplished your goals emotionally. You've done really, really well this week. Yes. Thanks, Becky. It is very amazing that I've lost the exact number that I needed to lose. And to be in a position that we don't have to have that pressure the entire way in, it just, it feels great. You lost eight pounds this week, making the blue team's total 12 pounds, with a total percentage of weight loss of 2.7%. <laughs> That's enough to keep both of you safe and here on campus for at least one more week. Blue team beats us. Surprise. And now, literally, our fate is sitting in Sunny's hands. And I'm more nervous than ever. It all comes down to one player, Sunny. We're going to start the Black Team's way in with John. John, you have lost 79 pounds so far, which means you are 21 pounds away from losing 100 pounds. And we are in week five, which means we should talk about the record. Moses lost 100 pounds in six weigh-ins. That's just something to keep in mind. I'm sure getting to 100 pounds is important to you. You know, for me to lose 100 pounds would just be fantastic. It really would. Your current weight is. That's fantastic. 12 pounds. You know, emotionally for me, this was like week one because Bob called me out before he and Sonny left, and that was great. And so I'm going to express how I feel. And it's already helping me understand how that could be part of the key to me keeping all this weight off. Good for you. Thank you. So John loses 12, and I'm thinking, oh, my goodness. It kind of made me sick that his weight didn't count to help us. If this guy loses 12, and we're not able to count it, and I don't lose enough to save our team, that's going to be a shame. Jennifer, your previous weight was 282 pounds. Jennifer, your current weight is. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, that's incredible, because I'll never be in the threes again. That's amazing. Good for you, Jeff. Thank you. I'm not writing home about that one. It was important to me, especially kind of being a team leader, to get the team where we needed to be, but obviously I didn't focus on myself, so it's frustrating. Thank you. Their numbers aren't as high as they normally are, and, um, and to be honest with you, I'm sitting there thinking, like, I really wish we were playing against the black team minus Sunny versus just Sunny. Once again, black team to win five weigh-ins in a row to guarantee that all five members of the black team are still here tomorrow. It all comes down to Sunny. Let's get you up here.
To lose seven pounds is a lot in week five. My entire team is depending on me. This is my chance to not be at the bottom of percentages for my team. I worry that I'm just gonna blow it. Sonny, your previous weight was 241 pounds. You have immunity this week. But to keep the black team safe, you need to have lost more than six pounds. Sonny, your current weight is red team could be facing elimination. I just hope she can pull it out. She could just blow it out of the water. It's crazy. I can't even keep my eyes open. I have my head down. I'm like having a hard time breathing. It's all in Sunny's hands. Sunny, your previous weight was 241 pounds. To keep the black team safe, you need to have lost more than six pounds. Your current weight is. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? This is crazy. 14 pounds. Oh my God. That was an amazing feat. Sunny came through when we needed her. She came through big. <laughs> Sunny! Yes! I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, he worked my butt off this week. Sonny, there had to be so much pressure on your shoulders this week. You know, at the beginning of the week, I was at the bottom of the black team with the lowest percentage, and it just made me mad. I just thought, I should not be at the bottom. I don't ever want to be at the bottom again. And I was worried about going home. I was worried about the distractions and just wanting to be with my family and spend that quality time. But you know what? Every moment that I wasn't in the gym or on the ranch, <laughs> the real ranch, um, with Bob, you know, my family was out walking with me and encouraging me, and um, it was the most incredible thing <laughs> to be able to accomplish that at home with the people that I love. And just, <laughs> and that man, he just, he's giving me my life back. <laughs> and I'm just so thankful. I love you, Bob. I love you too, Sam. I can't believe that. She gave me every single thing that she had every single day. It was unbelievable. This was the best week I've had on The Biggest Loser. Yeah. Congratulations, Sonny. Thank you. It's awesome to know that I've saved my team. I mean, I, I did it. And to know that I not only got the seven that I needed to keep them safe, I doubled that. Just feels amazing. Ah, uh, that just feels great. And Sonny, I'm happy to tell you that tonight, you have the second highest percentage of weight loss yes. of anyone on campus. Yes. Yes. Sonny, you lost 14 pounds this week, making the black team's total percentage of weight loss. 5.81%. Sonny didn't just beat the red team, she crushed them. I mean, the weight loss was almost double the percentage out of one person. Yes. Oh. The streak continues. Congratulations, you have won this way. Red team, I'm sorry to tell you that you are facing elimination tonight. You will have to vote and send one person home. There is one person on the red team that you cannot vote for tonight. That is the person on the red team with the highest percentage of weight loss. Tonight, that's Jessica. Jessica, that wasn't the reaction I expected from you. I don't want my team to go. I mean, it is what it is. I'm proud of myself, but I do what I do because I have them. Dovet, Bob, on, it's time to say goodnight to your teams. <laughs> This has to happen. This is part of it. You know, I'm, I'm proud of you because you gave it your all. Whatever happens, apply what you learned, bring it home, and don't stop. This isn't a ranch change. It's a lifestyle change. You know, it's not about being here. It's about changing yourself. Don't lose that. I love you guys. We got to go in the elimination room now. 
you know, we just lost this weigh-in to the black team and the blue team. And we got to send one of our own pack, and again, that's the suckiest feeling ever. Red team, I will hear your decision in one hour in the elimination room. Good luck. See you soon. I hate being in here. It physically gets me sick. It sucks that we have to do this. Like, you know, and we and we got to try to say that, you know, why we should be here instead of somebody else. For me, I'm uh, I'm sick of failing. You know, I'm sick of hiding, acting like a fool. I'm ready to be happy. I'm ready to do things that I want to do. I'm, I'm ready to be, you know, the man I came here to be, not a stubborn kid. You know, I came here and got a slap in the face with everything that's wrong with me. And, uh, and now this is my chance to change it. And I, I can't go home yet, not at all. There's so much more that I need to do. <laughs> but I'm glad I got to know you guys. I came on this show uh, because I had let my health go so bad that I gave myself a disease. And it drove me insane to think about that, um, that I had to let it go that far before I would take action. And, you know, that's the reason I came here. I haven't been able to get rid of the diabetes yet, so I would love to accomplish that before I leave. You know, I'm not ready to go home yet, but I have made the mental decision in my head that no matter where I'm at, I'm gonna continue to lose weight. I'm never gonna go back to the lifestyle that I used to have. I have tried out for the show four times, and I have dreamt, what would it be like to be thin? And what would it be like to be healthy? And to look at, um, be looked at by others like I was normal. I don't have the lowest percentage. I worked hard. <laughs> and uh, I work hard every single day. I'm in that gym for eight, seven to eight hours a day, just killing myself. And I don't want to leave. I don't think I deserve to leave. I, just, I don't think I have the knowledge I need or the training I need to know what to do right. There's a lot more that I have to learn about myself and uh, about this process. And that's all I can say. Coming up, the Biggest Loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. Want to be a contestant on The Biggest Loser? Log on to NBC.com for details. As a team, this week you lost the weigh-in. You're going to have to vote to send someone home tonight. So Jessica, we're going to start with you. I think from the beginning we said no hard feelings regardless of what happens in this room. And I just, I hope it holds true. I really do. But Vinny, you need to be here because medically Dr. H has explained to you, you know, I think you're 49. I know age is just a number, but when you're, what, 28 years old, that's pretty crazy. Courtney, you need to be here because one, you're my best friend here. You know more than anybody, your confidence is going up, but you're not there yet. And Ramon, you need to be here because you're 50 and that's crazy. When it comes down to it, I'm going with the medical standpoint. <sighs> and I voted for Courtney. Courtney, that's one vote for you. Mm -hmm. Does that surprise you? Um, not really. I had a feeling that it was, I was probably a target this week. How did you vote? Everyone here works extremely hard, so the way that I just based my decision was who had the lowest percentage of body um, weight loss on our team, and that's why I voted for Vinny. Cool. I didn't have the lowest percentage today. Just not today. Ready. I was talking about overall. Yeah, it's cool. Vinny, that's one vote for you. Courtney, you have one vote. There's a tremendous amount of tension at this table. 
As much as I would like to think it is just for what she said, I believe part of it is in her mind that, well, Vinny put my name on there the first time, and, and I don't blame you. Everybody at this table, except for Jessica, fell below that yellow line this week. So I don't look at it from the percentage this week, I, you know, or any week. I look at it as a team right now because that is what we're going off of. This was based on a team thing. Being that said, Ramon is my best friend here. I know you don't think it's about medical a lot of times, but you don't have the medical problems that he has. And that's why I did write Courtney on the paper. I do believe that you can go home and do this, and I do believe that your confidence will grow just like it has this week. I believe that's where your issues lie more so than going and losing weight. It's hard because you guys always go back to the confidence and, it, and you always say that's my only thing I have to work on. I think you guys forget that I'm one of the heaviest girls here. It's more than just the confidence. It is, it is say, a I lot of the weight. confidence was your only, only thing. I, I know, just but I, just, I, I feel that's like that's what, what I everyone always strongest. reflects on and everyone keeps saying that I always bring it up, but I feel like you guys bring it up more than I do. I understand that, Courtney, but I've never said that you ever brought it up. You, you show those things. You can't, you don't walk up to somebody and say, I'm unconfident. You know, it's just part of what you do in a daily routine. It did hit me a little bit in the heart when you said my motivation is I didn't want to fall below the yellow line because I felt like if we were coming in here, I would be the one to go. And I, I, you know, I worked hard and I was just doing it because I wanted to have the highest percentage for our team. I wasn't just worried about myself. I was worried about everybody. Courtney, you have two votes. Vinny, you have one vote. If it comes to a tie, it's the person with the lowest percentage of weight loss tonight who will be eliminated. So Vinny, if that vote is for you, you are automatically eliminated. Okay. Let's hear what Ramon had to say about tonight. I, uh, I had to make a decision early in this game that tore me apart. I had to vote out Patrick, one of my best friends. And uh, there's just no possible way that I can do it again. You know, that's why I couldn't write down Vinny's name. And tonight, I voted for Courtney. Courtney, with three votes, I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. You will be returning for the marathon. The person who wins the marathon automatically makes it into the finals. Right. Courtney, it's time for you to say goodbye. Bye, guys. Good luck. Bye, Court. The fact that I'm going home in week five, and it's, it's bitter, but at the same time, you know, um, I made it to week five. I think the person I came here was not just overweight, but um, scared, insecure, doubted herself a lot. Someone my age shouldn't have this. Someone who wants to be in love should not have this. And I think the person who's leaving tonight is found herself a little bit more, found that inner confidence, found that inner strength, that inner voice. I am not giving up on you. I'm not either. And I'm actually starting to be happy with myself. I've lost 39 pounds. I just know I'm going to do so well, and I'm just going to shock the heck out of a lot of people. Yeah! 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 America, next time you see me, I will be training for a marathon. I will be thinner than I ever was even in junior high, and I will be the most confident Courtney you've seen yet. Since starting on the ranch and weighing 270 pounds, I have lost 65 pounds. I now weigh 205 pounds. Hey, Corey, what's going on? I haven't seen you in, I feel like, forever. I know, how have you been? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, what you got going there? It smells um, really good. Some zing chicken. It's actually one of the biggest losers. Simply Sensible Entrees. It has, like, 16 grams of protein per serving, and it's under 250 calories, which is what all the meals are. With my time at the ranch, I learned a lot about nutrition, so I wanted to be able to show my sister how you can easily make something that's healthy from the Biggest Loser meals. What do you think? You know, it's really good. Right? I wanted to be able to pay it forward with my sister. And that's why I'm inviting my sister over because I know she's had the same struggles in life and I really want to help her on her journey. I feel like there's a lot of things like you want to talk about since, I mean, we haven't had the opportunity to sit and talk since I've been on the show and I just want to know, how are you feeling? I just know that I've tried so many things and why try anymore? But seeing you and what you've done, it just inspires me. I have to do something. Oh God, this is great. I want to a really cool prize when I was on the show. Yes! I want to give it to you. And you get to go to the Biggest Loser Fitness Resort for two weeks, all paid. And you're having basically the experience that I had on the ranch for two weeks. I think you deserve it. You're such an amazing person. And I think you're going to learn so much. And, you know, like, people drop weight when they're at the resort, but most often, like, they just learn how to change their life.
I want to help her start her weight loss journey and, and everything that comes with it. Because I know it's important to her and it's important to me and my entire family. I love you and I'm so proud of you. Thank you.